Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will make a little breakdown of this scene I made in Blender of a Star Destroyer rising from the ice. It all began when I watched this video by Hang Yuri Yang. And he basically did the shot, which was 100% my inspiration, he just did it a thousand times better than me. However, he did it in Houdini, so I thought, why not try to make it in Blender? And as I watch this shot again, it's pretty obvious that there are quite some simulations going on. Hang even made this amazing breakdown of the video, which shows just how many simulations are actually going on. We have particle simulations, smoke simulations, ice simulations, we have everything. And I just thought, holy moly badoli, this will be impossible to do in Blender. And pretty quickly I found out that it was almost impossible. I only gave myself one day for this project, so I kinda had a tight schedule. So I made a simple setup with a rigid body simulation for all the ice, and then I did a simple particle system for the Star Destroyer. And even though this is a super simple setup, my computer was still running at 3 FPS. And that just shows how bad Blender handles simulations. Because of the lighting ending up being so good, I actually think I got away with a very simple simulation setup. And I think the shot is okay. I knew that I wanted snow in the scene, but as my scene was already too hot for my computer to handle, I had to do it as a separate overlay. So I created this snow overlay, which I just added in post. And I was surprisingly happy with the result. I think this looks epic. Usually I would use overlays from Action VFX, because it's super high quality overlays. But to be honest, I think it's quite expensive. It's around $300 a year, and I don't really have that much money right now. So I made it myself. And it's a rather simple setup, but still it took quite a lot of time to get it just right. But after playing around with the wind and the lighting, I think I got a result that looks really realistic. And this also got me thinking, maybe I should make a library of these overlays that you guys can download. So I'm considering making different packages with overlays that you can use for your Blender projects. Let me know if you could be interested and what you think the price should be in the comments. I'm thinking somewhere around 5 to $10, but let me know in the comments what you think is fair. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.